In this video, we're gonna show you how to install the lower grill molding on your Toyota RAV4 located in your front bumper. There's gonna be nine plastic retainer buttons uh, securing this in place. We're gonna use our trim tool. and our particular model, you would just press down on the center and then go underneath and pry that up. You're gonna continue this process for the other eight retainers. Once we have those removed, we're gonna grab the panel and lift it up and back towards the windshield. That's gonna disconnect the front piece here from underneath the grill. And go ahead and set that aside. Across the top of the bumper, you're gonna find some of these plastic trim buttons. Use your trim tool, you're gonna pop these out. Just follow this across the top here. In the center, this plastic trim button has a rubber bumper on it for your hood. We're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna go underneath and just gently pry this up and then go underneath and grab the rest of it and pull that up and out like so. Two more rubber bumpers, one on the driver's side. Use your Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen and remove this and do the same for the passenger side. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen and remove the lug nuts. Our particular vehicle has a locking lug nut, so we'll use that tool to remove that. And on some of these wheels, there'll be a center cap right here. Our particular vehicle is missing that, but it should come off with the wheel assembly. Grab that wheel, remove it, and set it aside. On the inside of the fender well here, it's gonna be two 10 millimeter screws. Loosen and remove these. Do the same for the passenger side. On the bottom side of the vehicle, if you have this lower splash guard, you wanna go ahead and use your 10 millimeter socket or Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screws across the front. On the bottom of the bumper, we also have a couple 10 millimeter screws as well as a plastic retainer clip. You wanna remove that as well. You should have another screw on the back side over here. Ours is broken, so we don't have one there, but if yours is there, go ahead and remove that. Then continue across the front. Same on ours, the back screw here is broken. If you have the back one, go ahead, loosen and remove that one now. Use your trim tool, go ahead, loosen. This little plastic retainer here. Just 
along the bottom side here, there's going to be four more plastic buttons. We have two along the back side here. Remove that splash shield and set it aside. On the upper portion of our fender liner here, there's gonna be some more plastic push pins. Use your trim tool. and grab that fender liner and the bumper and just pull those apart and drop that down. On the back side of our front bumper, there is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Loosen and remove that. We're gonna repeat this process for the passenger side. On the back of your bumper, if you have fog lights, you wanna go ahead and disconnect this harness, press in this little tab. We're gonna let connector off, repeat for the other side. With all of our bumper hardware removed, we want to come on over here and just grab behind the edge of the bumper itself and pull outward gently. What we're doing is we're dislodging the bumper from the bumper bracket behind it. We're going to repeat that for the passenger side. With both sides of the bumper dislodged, just grab that gently pull that away and set it aside. Along the bottom of the base of the grill here, you're gonna have a series of five tabs, as well as some lower tabs we're gonna to need to release. I'm gonna use a small pocket flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna come into the bottom middle of this tab. I'm gonna unlock it and push this in or out towards the front. The next tab you wanna to come to is right here and you need to dislodge little retaining clip here and then come on over here and we're going to work our way down Okay, to remove the molding from the front. And what you wanna do is simply line up the tabs and the notches in the lower portion of your grill assembly. And just gently push that in, working your way across. You're gonna feel it and hear it snap into place, securing it. At that point there, you're all set. You're gonna bring the bumper cover over I'm going to set the upper portion of the bumper in place. You want to come on over to the side. Line that up. Push the bumper in and just give it a tap. Do the same on the passenger side. We're going to start in the center here. Push the grill back. Line that up. Snap that into place. On the ends here, we have the other rubber bumpers, so we're going to go ahead and install those. Go ahead and snug that down, and go ahead and repeat for the passenger side.
install the fog light connector and repeat for the other side. Tap that bumper in, line up that 10 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and get that started. Then we'll go ahead and snug that down. Go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. So at this point here, we're gonna go ahead and line up all of our holes. Line up the fender liner. Gently snug those down. Now that this is all secured, go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Install the splash guard. When doing so, you have to make sure that these tabs fit underneath the bumper, but where the screws go, they are on the outside. So it kind of interlocks. When you bring up the splash guard here, it goes between the fender liner and the forward air dam here. So slide that in there. On your vehicle here, you probably have a screw that goes in the back here. Ours is broken. Now, if you have that bolt that goes in the back or the screw, install that here. Ours is broken. Once again, just install yours. Go ahead and install your wheel. Get those lug nuts started. Go ahead and torque down our lug nuts to 76 foot-pounds. If you have a locking key, go ahead and tighten that one down first. And if you happen to have a center cap, go ahead and pop that on. 
We'll install in the upper radiator cover. We want to make sure that these here slide in underneath the lip of the grill when we're installing this. Lower it down into place. Now we can go ahead and install our plastic retaining buttons. We had to source some replacement buttons as ours were brittle and crumbling apart. that point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.